in a greenfield site like we are, and you can start from scratch. You build only what you need, only the precise tools that you need, doing what needs to be done to satisfy the customer, delivering excellence and not having any waste around that. As you can uh, kind of see behind me, from a body construction perspective, everything's in and we're in our tool tryout phase. So we are building units. The tool trial process is the beginning of our trajectory to start a production within the factory. Building the car successfully with the tools, verifying that simulation work, and implementing it as quickly as possible. The tool tryout process is just that. As we go into release candidate, as we go to starting a production, we're on a continual climb to more production, higher quality, and always confirming that for every car that we build. look forward to coming into work. Like I, I genuinely wake up, I'm like, what problems can I solve today or what do I get to try out today? There's not a one single day that is dull. It's pretty exciting every single day here. Every day is different. Being able to work on these cars on the cutting edge of technology is unlike any other company I've ever worked for. You can walk right down and see cars being built. Over in the battery lab, you see batteries being built and it's all the parts that you've been designing. A lot that we've bought gives us the ability to expand. Not only would we expand in jobs per hour, we would also expand on selections that the customer gets. So we got to build the factory exactly how we wanted it, exactly what delivers to the customer, exactly the investment required to do that, and exactly the value that we deliver to the corporation. That greenfield strategy is the way to do that. One of the advantages Lucid has is our drivetrain components are incredibly compact and power dense. We push all those components down and away and give all that extra space to the passenger compartment and creates a very unique paradigm where we're larger on the inside and more compact on the outside. We looked for over 60 sites in 13 states and we found that Arizona is a perfect place to build a factory. It is very important to start your factory from the scratch and wrap it around the product you have and wrap it around the processes you want to build there. So once you start to build a greenfield factory, it's the best approach ever because otherwise you create waste and the factory will not be perfect like it should be to be efficient, cost-effective and quality-driven. Our factory is the first greenfield EV factory in North America, and I'm very proud to be part of that. It will be the fastest factory built within eight months and some weeks to get the first cars out there. This is really astonishing. This factory is super unique because it is wrapped around the 10-year plan. So what you see now is just plan phase number one, and the paint shop is the cornerstone of this factory, and we build the factory around this. So this factory can scale tenfold, which is, as I know, never has been done before. It can go up to 60 jobs per hour within 10 years, and yeah, that will happen. I'm proud of my team. They are experts on their topic, and I have to keep up with them. That's hard. It's hard work because they're brilliant. They believe in what we are doing together and what we want to achieve and where we want to go. There are two factories. We have in Casa Grande also a powertrain factory. So we are building the core of our car, which is the technology from the very beginning to the end and deliver it to the main factory so the team can build that into the car. This is the core competence that we built up there because this is a very highly automated and very precise manufacturing method to get that done. And if you want to build a luxury vehicle without quality, there's no way you need quality in your processes, in your design, in your product, in everything you do. And so we're starting the factory with the quality driven wrap. We will not hit numbers because we want to hit numbers. That doesn't make sense in a luxury segment. We will hit quality achievements and quality goals and move forward. And once we hit them, then we can create higher numbers. That is the path how we want to move forward and make a community of lucid fans who are super convinced of our products, of our story, of our culture, of what we believe is important for our planet and for our community.